What is up guys, Plant Commander here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Undertale. In the last episode, we continued into the true pacifist route of the game, went on a date with Undyne, and then Alphys, and then Undyne again, and then Papyrus showed up for some reason, and then they've all- and then they all left, and now we're in the- we're at the dump. And in this episode, we are going to be going back to meet up with our friends, which I believe went back to the lab. So, I will go ahead and meet you guys back there, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys where I need to be. Oh, there's a phone call. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early, very early. So I sent her home, very home. Uh, now, uh, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there to her lab house. I, I have only good feelings about this, goodbye. And to the lab we shall go. I'll meet you guys there. And here we are, back at the lab. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. Hey look, we're on TV. It's a video feed of your location. Now, we've never actually gone in here. I wonder if you can go in there, actually. It's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Not yet. First, I want to see what's in here. Can you actually go in there? Oh, it's only a few feet wide. That's disappointing. I was hoping for something interesting. Alright, let's read the note now. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north in this note. You all deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Very ominous. So let's go on in here. Into the true final location of the game. Elevator losing power. Welcome to the final location. The True Lab. A location exclusive- exclusive to the true pacifist route of the game. Let's do this. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from human souls. I believe this is what gives souls their strength to persist after death. This will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. This is probably one of the creepiest areas in an RPG that I've ever played. This place is really freaky. The location itself isn't really all that creepy, but you'll see pretty quickly. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. The bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. 
So Alphys was experimenting and trying to get monster souls to be injected with determination to get them to persist after death to the point where they can break the barrier. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get their souls. I've told the families I would give the, d the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? This is starting to get really creepy. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. So we need to find a drain to be able to find something. I believe if you turn on the right sink... There it is. This is why I find this area to be really creepy. It's filled with enemies called amalgamates, and... Uh... You'll see. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just really creepy. Take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Yeah, this is really unnerving. I don't remember how to do all of this. Um, I guess I'll join? You'll be with us shortly. This, yeah, this is really creepy. All I really remember about these fights is that they're combinations of monsters that you've fought in the past. And, well, the way to beat them is to do combinations of things that beat them. So, yeah, this game's weird. This area is really weird, and I don't remember all the ways to beat the Amalgamates, but all I remember is that these fights are extremely strange. And, yeah. I guess I'll refuse? I, I gotta try to remember how to do this. I don't remember. Uh... I tried refusing. I tried joining them all. That didn't seem to do anything. Oh! Okay, I guess I just had to say no. Just say no, kids. Oh! There's the, there's the drain. So let's go ahead and put this in place. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. And if you saw in the very beginning of the area, there are four nodes like that on the door. So, you've probably figured it out by now. We need to get four keys, put them all into the right slot, and then that door will open, and then we can go through it. So, yeah, this area can be a little bit confusing. And, uh, I don't really, I don't want to say I don't like it. Because it's a really, really atmospheric area, and it gives you a lot to go on with the story. But it's kind of tedious, and it takes a while. But I'll go into my thoughts more on that in, in just a second. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Yeah, um, this area is weird. It's really, really creepy. It's, I, I like it for that. But I don't like it for the fact that the gameplay in it is really... I don't want to say really tedious, because that makes it sound a lot worse than it actually is. Ooh, I found a thing. It's a yellow key. Put it on your keychain. Alright, so we got the yellow key. But the gameplay is just... It, it just takes a while. That's, that's really what I'm getting at here. Now this is a cool little thing. I don't remember if this does anything. I don't even remember if you have to do it. I just remember that this is something that happens. If you lay in this bed, and don't touch the controls for a while, a weird figure will show up. As long as you don't move the controller, it'll keep reaching for you. It'll tuck you in and pat you on the head. And that's that. It doesn't really do anything. But that's still just a little bit of an interesting thing you can do here. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking- they're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. So, it seems like the determination injections are working. 
seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. So, it was able to revive some monsters. No, 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 no. So, things are going wrong, apparently. That scared the shit out of me the first time I played this game. That was really unsettling. <sighs> yeah, now you see kind of why I really like this game. That also caught me off guard. It smells like sweet lemon, so... This looks like a combination of the weird mold small thing and a Shiren. I don't know what else there is here. So I believe... Oh, it's also... I think, I think Aaron is also there, so I'll go ahead and I'll unhug it. And... Yeah, that also freaked the hell out of me the first time I played. This is one of the more unsettling attacks in the game. Uh, so I unhugged it. Now I guess we could flex for the part of him that's Aaron. Uh, oh god, that's all the way on the side. Uh, yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna make that. I also picked up some healing items on the way here, so, um, I feel like that's just worth noting. Uh, let's hum for the Shiren. Seems to remember something. Still gonna try to bite me to death. Ow. Alright. There we go, we can spare it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and heal up because I feel like I really need to. Um, just eat a star- or drink the star fay. Alright, now, uh, I guess we can go up into this room. This is the yellow keyhole, so we put that in there just fine. That worked. There's a VHS player with a few takes tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Let's watch tape one. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, my dear? Uh, Ender, why do you have that video camera? Shh, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what's my favorite vegetable? Mm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> Now, if I were a dog, what breed of- what breed of dog would I be? Uh, I don't know, honey, but what kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mama Rainy. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Interesting. Okay, plant. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Wait, I had the lens cap on. What, you're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. You seem to be talking to me. Howdy, plant. Smile for the camera. <sighs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. What? Uh, oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe we asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put butter cups in instead. Yeah, those flowers really got him sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Uh, turn off the camera? Okay. I... I don't like this idea, Plant. What? N no, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Plant. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. One more. Plant, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. 
plant. You have to stay determined. Mm -hmm. You can't give up. You're the you are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, plant, please wake up. I don't like this plant anymore. I I no. I said I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? Very interesting. I'm not gonna spoil who those are. But I'll just say this. You have enough information right now as it stands to figure it out on your own. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore has watched them. I don't think he should. And that gives you a big hint as to what's going on. DT Extraction Machine. Status inactive. I also just want to point out that that looks suspiciously like Photoshop Flowey. Except a lot more mechanical. It's really hard to see in here. There's something here. It feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. So, I guess we'll have to do something else to get into that room. So, let's go ahead and just go back to the right, I guess. Uh, this was just, yeah, that was the shower room. Um, trying to remember where else I have to go. Uh, item. Where, do I have any keys on me? Oh, I have the green key. Okay. I have the green key, and I need the blue one. So, I guess we're going this way now. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except when, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Interesting. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. This is going to turn on the fans. So now it looks like we can go back into that foggy room from earlier. But not before another amalgamate encounter, and this is my favorite one. It's also probably the most disturbing. I just want to point out the spaces between the legs kind of look like cats. And the dogs in the background. And all the... Things that you could do to the doggo mini bosses. I believe you that you beat this thing the same way as you beat the. What the hell? Yeah, that's weird. I believe you beat this the same way as you beat Greater Doggo. So I'll call it to me. It bounced toward me. It's a rocket doggo now. I need to stop getting hit! Alright, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to heal. I gotta dodge the arrows. Come on! Oh, ah, damn it. Alright, um, I think now I just pet it. Convulses rapidly, then calms down. Yeah, this is creepy. This is really creepy. It's striking the wall with its claws. Hand phases through it. It must not want to be pet for now. Um, okay then. This is really weird. This is really weird. Uh, play? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. It brings it back to you proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body onto you. Uh, this is really creepy. Like, really, really creepy. Uh, you gonna shoot the arrows now? Okay, good. Don't have to deal with the attack that I'm terrible at dodging. Now I believe I just pet it again. A strange stage one happiness froth. Well, a stage one happiness froth. What the hell is that? 
I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand game. This is so weird. Uh, pet? And now there's Kato's in its legs, and it's playing a slowed down, creepy version of Dog Song. Endogeny. Goodbye, Nightmare. Alright. Um, now, I believe... I, I don't actually remember where the blue key slot is. But I know that the... Gr I'm fairly certain that the green one is through the room that we were in earlier. I think. I could be wrong about that. But, we are actually going to figure that out next episode, so be sure to tune in next time for more Let's Play Undertale. Thank you guys so much for watching, this will be the Plant Commander, and next time, we're going to be going into that foggy room that we just cleared up, and see what's in there. We'll continue on through the true lab, and hopefully find our way out. See you guys then!